A new at 10 closed down for good. There are now three companies in Zachary who have announced plans to either shut their doors or downsize this year. Thompson Pipe is now on that list. Local 33's TC Mazinga joins us now with details to tell us how this will impact employees. TC, good evening. It's deja vu all over again. We're up to nearly 1,000 workers who will be laid off this year at these locations. Sad and, and difficult message to deliver. This was Kelly Ferguson from Georgia Pacific five days ago. The company is getting rid of nearly 700 employees by March. This is happening because they say most people aren't using paper. These days, people are going digital, so they have to shut down their communication paper machines and offices. It's based on a, on a business decision. Uh, around, you know, a, a declining market. Five days later, we're learning two more businesses in Zachary are also laying off their employees. Thompson Pipe Group now has to release more than 100 employees, but the firm is reportedly offering them jobs in Texas. BASF is another company that also plans to close its doors this year. 54 employees will now have to find new jobs. Those workers aren't allowed to speak with media, but one person who is speaking in the midst of these closures is Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom. Baton Rouge is about all the citizens that live here and the quality of life that they deserve to experience. The mayor no promises to get people back on their feet. No Her administration through the Employee BR program is currently working those who are affected by these closures. And she released a statement following Thompson Pipe Group and BASF layoff announcements. She says in part, quote, our collective goal continues to be to help everyone find new jobs and careers here in the Baton Rouge area. Our efforts to support Georgia Pacific employees are well underway, and it is our intention to consolidate our resources to assist all citizens in need of employment due to recently announced layoffs. Our economy has taken a hit, but East Baton Rouge Parish remains resilient. Now, if you're affected by these company closures, there are many companies out there who are working to get you employed. For NBC Local 33 News, I'm Ticia Muzinga.